Beatrice, welcome here in Berlin at Open Knowledge Festival. It's been great to have you here. Have you, what's been your experience of the festival so far? Well, uh, I don't know yet. Uh, it's, it's been a fantastic experience. Uh, I had a chance to talk with a lot of interesting people, to know a lot more about what is happening around the world. You know, coming from Latin America sometimes uh, makes you put the focus on your region and what is happening there. And we usually pay attention to what is happening in our region, in our uh, neighbor countries, in Europe, in the US, because those are the situations that are influencing us. But this kind of uh, festival gives us the opportunity to talk to people from Africa, to, from Cambodia, from Asia, from different perspectives that will help us establish a different kind of collaboration. Sometimes we talk about a cooperation north-south, and this kind of experience give us the chance to start thinking about cooperation between the, the, the south, you know, mm -hmm. to check which other experiences on the problems and the worries in other uh, countries like uh, in, in African continent and in Asia. And that is, I think, the wealth of this kind of festival. Thank well, you for that. Well, <laughs> that's, so that's fantastic. So kind of the breadth, fifth, more than 50 countries here. So just to tell me a little bit about your kind of, what you were speaking about, it's often been about the, the importance, we're talking here about open knowledge, but about the role of intellectual property in, in restricting or enabling that and, and so on. What is the kind of biggest concern for you right now on the horizon in that area? What would you most like to see action on right now? Well, if I have to make a call on action right now, I will ask everybody to pay attention to all the trade agreements that are being negotiated. So tell me a bit about one of those, like what, well, what is affecting Europeans, for example, right Well, now? for example, this moment in Europe, is a, a, there, there is a new round of a negotiation of the TTIP, which is the Transatlantic uh, Trade and Investment uh, Partnership, which is a big framework for commercial and, and, and investing uh, investors protection in between the US and the European Union. And just to ask a question, that's a trade agreement. How come there's anything to do with open data or open knowledge or information or intellectual property? How's, what's it, that got to do with trade? It has a lot to do with trade. Since the last decades, in the last century, yeah. when the WTO introduced the intellectual property in the trade agenda, Right. Every trade agreement brings its uh, intellectual property chapter. The right. same happens when we, you have a bilateral trade agreement, for example, the Colombia trade agreement with the United right. States. The TTP, which is being negotiated right now in the Asia Pacific re Pacifica region, right. or every trade agreement brings its intellectual property chapter. And what's in TTIP and what's good or bad about it? Well, TTP as um, TTP, TTIP, or yeah, yeah. so with many the European, TT, with, you the, know. The, with the European one, the US European one, yes. what's in there that's good or bad? The, that will um, uh, uh, elevate the standards on intellectual property protections, considering, cool. for example, issues that have to do with patents, yeah. especially with patents on medicines, that uh, will include trade secrets and, and um, um, uh, a conflict resolution, right. um, the, the, the implementation of the whole uh, yeah. set of new standards will be the new standard for global okay. uh, intellectual property negotiations. So that will affect not only European Union and the US, but the, the rest of the world. So that's what you'd like to see action on. If you were saying something today, pay attention to that. That's a threat potentially to open knowledge. Um, uh, but also an opportunity to get good policies in there, but it's happening a bit in the dark. Pay attention to that. Yes, and, uh, it's it's and, not potential but, but the risk. Well, it's, the it's risk actual, is real. It's a real. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It's actual risk. The other thing is, well, it's been great to have you here. What would you look? Would you, are you looking forward to coming back next year? Yes, of course. Oh, it might be that we could look well, forward to have you yeah. in our region next year. That would year. be great <laughs> to have an open knowledge conference in Latin America. Would be fantastic. So that's so put it there. Thank you so much. Thank you, Rufus.